without objection the chair is authorized to declare a recess of the subcommittee at any time the subcommittee is meeting today to consider four bills h r 1657 uh, Representative Stauber's Lake Winnebagoshish Land Exchange Act, H.R. 3107 Ranking Member Neguse's Improving Outdoor Recreation Coordination Act, H.R. 3200 Representative Zinke's Gateway Community and Recreation Enhancement Act, and H.R. 4984 Representative Comer's D.C. Robert F. Kennedy Memorial Stadium Campus Revitalization Act. I ask unanimous consent that Representative Zinke of Montana be allowed to participate in today's hearing from the dais. Without objection, so ordered. Under committee rule 4F, any oral opening statements at hearings are limited to the chairman and the ranking minority member. I therefore ask unanimous consent that all other members' opening statements be made part of the hearing record if they are submitted in accordance with committee rule 3, paren O. Without objection, so ordered. I will now recognize myself for an opening statement. Today, the Subcommittee on Federal Lands continues our work developing a comprehensive recreation package. While the House was away from D.C. during the August recess, we were busy at work. We had boots on the ground all across the country meeting with people and hearing about the issues everyday Americans are facing. This committee held a hearing in Yosemite. While the hearing focused on the need for forest management and combating the wildfire crisis, I was reminded how valuable these iconic places are to Americans who recreate there, having had my first opportunity to go there is spectacular. Engaging in outdoor activities, whether it's hiking, camping, hunting, fishing, or simply spending time in nature, is not just important to us as individuals, it is part of our nation's heritage. Despite the important role public lands play in outdoor recreation, they are often conflicting levels of access to the land and facilities provided by federal land managers and convoluted policies among the various agencies. That's exactly what the bills on today's agenda seek to address. The bills we are considering today would increase access to public land, enhance coordination among the federal, uh, the federal land management agencies, reduce bureaucracy, and provide for the long-term planning of two important recreation sites. Representative Zinke's bill, the Gateway Community and Recreation Enhancement Act, will support gateway communities, create better data on visitation to develop a digital pass so Americans can access the park with their mobile device. Importantly, the bill requires the National Park Service to engage with local stakeholders before closing or reducing access to a park, except for health and safety risks. Last year, visitors to national parks generated a record high of over $50 billion in economic benefits and supported over 378,000 jobs. Legislation like Representative Zinke's bill will help gateway communities build on this success and continue to grow their rural economies by creating reliable, dependable access to federal lands. I'd also like to highlight legislation from my neighbor, Representative Stauber. That would provide certainty and predictability to a favorite hunting and fishing lodge in his district on Lake Winnebagoshish. H.R. 1657, the Lake Winnebagoshish Land Exchange Act of 2023 would facilitate a land exchange between the owners of the lodge and the Forest Service. I'd like to commend Representative Stauber for years of hard work he has put into crafting this locally driven solution that will benefit his constituents. Like Representative Stauber's legislation, Representative Comer's D.C. Robert F. Kennedy Memorial Stadium Campus Revitaliz Revitalization Act is a locally driven solution that would provide for increased recreation here in Washington, D.C. The legislation before us represents years of negotiations to ensure a long-term solution for the future development and use of the 142 acres of land known as the RFK Memorial Stadium Campus. To promote and enhance outdoor recreation, the bill ensures any development of the site will maintain at least 30% parks and open space and ensure access to the Anacostia River and Anacostia River Trail. Finally, Ranking Member Neguse and Representative Lawler's bipartisan Bill H.R. 3107, the Improving Outdoor Recreation Coordination Act, would establish the Federal Interagency Council on Outdoor Recreation to coordinate policies among the various land management agencies. I am interested in learning more about this proposal and whether it could potentially decrease bureaucracy and redundancies among the federal land management agencies. Each of these bills addresses a unique aspect of outdoor recreation from rural to urban communities. 
local to national issues and from immediate issues to long-term planning. I thank each of the sponsors of today's bills for their commitment and work. I'd also like to thank our panel of witnesses for being here today to offer your unique expertise in the field of outdoor recreation. With that, I will now recognize the ranking member Nagus and ranking member Nagus is not here at this point. Yeah, so let's um, uh, go into our first panel and um, um, I, I would just highlight for our panel, we do have votes that are coming up at 2.30 and uh, uh, we're going to get as far as we can and, and then we will go vote. Let me remind the witnesses that under committee rules, you must limit your oral statement to five minutes, but your entire statement will appear in the hearing record. To begin your testimony, please press the on button on the microphone. We use timing lights. When you begin, the light will turn green. At the end of five minutes, the light will turn red, and I'll ask you to please complete your statement. I'd like to introduce Mr. Mike Reynolds, the Deputy Director of Congressional and External Relations at the National Park Service. Deputy Director Reynolds, you are recognized for five minutes. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Chairman Tiffany and Ranking Member Nagus and members of the subcommittee. <clears throat> for